Hello. I'm doing a little demo today. Uh, this is of the uh, Tronical tuning system. Uh, this is mounted on an Epiphone Les Paul standard, but you can also buy this as uh, OEM equipment on Gibson guitars. It's, uh, they refer to it as the Min E tune system. But Tronical also makes this system for like Fender Strats and uh, a lot of other different guitars. Uh, so you might check their website uh, and uh, just Google Tronical, T R O N I C A L, and you can find their website. And they have a lot of different templates that'll let you see if the, it'll fit your guitar. So uh, anyway, like I said, this is a Gibson, or this is the Epiphone Les Paul standard. Uh, right now I have it tuned to a drop C tuning. Okay, and uh, basically what the system is, is this computer here, right here in the center, there's a circuit card underneath it that it mounted to, and then there's these six servo controlled tuners. Um, the system has 12 uh, preset tunings in it, and I can also do six user programmable ones. Um, so right now I'm going to tune this, Right, it, it's tuned to a drop C tuning currently. I'm going to tune it to an E flat standard. So basically the way this system works here is I hit the button down here to turn it on and uh, then I hit it again to select uh, what bank I want to choose. Uh, the red bank is one of the pre-programmed ones and item B here is the uh, E-flat tuning. So I hit the button and you'll see the tuning machines just start moving themselves and then basically I just strum all six strings at once and you'll see it go through. I probably have to hit it a few times here to just to get it to go through. And uh, sometimes it'll focus on individual strings like the E here. It's, it seems to want to do that a little more more fine-tuned. But uh, and then my top E here can be a little finicky. So, so there we go. So then it flashes all of them green. And Now I'm tuned to uh, E flat standard tuning. And uh, probably the biggest criticism that I hear of, that people give me on this thing is uh, they, they say, uh, well, why don't you just learn how to tune a guitar? And uh, well, I, I know how to tune a guitar, but the thing about this system is if you don't know how to tune a guitar, it would be completely useless because the user programmable settings, you have to tune it to be able to uh, to be able to get it to know what that tuning is. So you have to be able to tune it manually to be able to program it. Um, I use it because I, tune, I switch between a lot of different tunings quickly uh, during a live set and it makes it so I don't have to switch guitars and basically I can just choose another tuning like I have a drop D tuning programmed into the the bank E of the programmable settings. So I just set it again and you see that it just it it turns the tuning machines on its own and then I just tell it uh, okay I just I just strum all strings at once and it goes through and it tunes them all like I said the high E can be a little finicky sometimes but okay and that the now it's tuned to drop D so it's it's that quick and and if you can change guitars or retune a guitar that quick, maybe drop D is pretty easy, but you know, I have a drop C tuning in here too. If you can retune all six strings that fast, more power to you. But uh, for me, it works pretty damn good. And uh, like I said, like you can see, uh, or, or like I was saying, you can see that it's, it's mounted here. You can see where the original tuners were right down here. But from the front, it pretty much looks factory. And uh, I really love this thing. Uh, as for battery life, um, I retune this thing uh, at least three times per session. I play it uh, twice a week uh, on average. And uh, I've managed to have the tuning or the, the battery life go between string changes. Uh, it lasted me three months the last time uh, playing it at those intervals. So basically, what I do is whenever I do a string change, I pop the battery out, which is basically right here on the top. And it just slides right out like that and uh, you just plug it in and tune it. It's got an adapter that comes with it. Or just plug it in and charge it. And uh, it just takes uh, you know maybe an hour or two to, to, to charge it. And I do that when I do my string change. Then uh, put it back in and I'm ready to go. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks.